There we go. That was weird. So we got proposal. Okay. A romantic or business opportunity. And the sun card. Wow. Bottom of the deck is luck. A lot of Sagittarius energy here. This is actually really, really good energy, you guys. The number 19 could be significant for you. Maybe somebody's birthday is on the 19th. Someone's birthday could be on the 27th or the 30th. Something significant could be happening. Is today the 30th, y'all? Um, Today is the 30th. So maybe something significant happened for you today or maybe in the next 30 days. Sun energy, so you have a business proposal or a, or a new love coming in, something that is going to make you happy. And there's enormous growth ahead. So whatever this is, whether it's a relationship, a new person, when it comes to love, or this could be um, a new job, whatever this is that's new coming into your life, it it's opening doors. It's going to require a commitment at some point, but I feel like it's something that you're going to want to do long term. And it's very lucky, like very blessed. You are right to be strong and optimistic about opportunities ahead. So you guys have been in this real positive energy here lately. You have been feeling like really optimistic. You've been staying really positive about the future. I feel like I'm talking to somebody here who's forging ahead. Yeah. Positively. You've been really grateful. You're in this really good energy. Hmm. Okay. Show me more here for the collective. Sunflower energy. Wow. Divine masculine. You could have a divine masculine coming your way, a new divine masculine, okay? Um, or you could be the divine masculine that has something new coming in towards you. This is like warrior-like energy here. A source of strength and protection. This energy guides us to lead us with courage, integrity, and moral clarity. I feel like this is the energy that you've been standing in. And you've got somebody coming in for you, a divine masculine that's going to be in the same energy. You have been walking by strength and not by sight is what i'm hearing here it's just that's exactly what i'm seeing you whatever you do you do it with integrity you know you don't have to cross other people be underhanded be sneaky to get what you want you stood and firm on your integrity and that's good You're, okay healing touch look at this somebody here is a healer OK, maybe you do something that brings you may take care of other people. You could be a nurse. Somebody here could be in the medical field, a CNA. You could be into energy healing. You could be a Reiki specialist or a Reiki healer or something of that nature. Or there's something about your care and your energy that heals other people. This this divine masculine could be a healer. I feel like there's something about you that is going to be healing to this divine masculine. Somebody needs your healing here. Show me more about this. Hmm. Your, your love heals somebody. Did you know? I feel like I'm talking to somebody who knows that their love is actually really, really healing. So be careful who you give it to. Or this is the energy that you've been in. You don't give your love and your intimacy to just anybody because you know, you know what energy healing that you can bring to the table and provide download somebody here has a hidden motive i knew something was up i knew i was like uh i felt something lurking in the background somebody here wearing a mask somebody here may need you for your healing energy so just be mindful of that but i feel like i'm talking to somebody who knows that because we have downloads so you're someone here who's a healer you're a star seed you're a light worker whatever you do brings healing and love and light to other people i feel like you are someone who walks in integrity and you are also somebody here who you have dreams um, that could be a way that you receive your messages from spirit or your guidance from spirit. Some of you all get downloads, uh, you know, whether you're sleeping or not, but you have like a gift of insight. You have a gift of insight and somebody here knows that. And I feel like they want to try to take advantage of that. 
with its hidden motives. Be aware of those who are wearing a mask and concealing their true intentions beneath the facade of sincerity. So you got somebody here that really, I feel like you have two different people popping up in here. There's one person who's a true divine masculine, right? Or true divine feminine. And then there's somebody here who wants to come in and act like they are your, your they are your true divine masculine or your true divine feminine. But this person it just needs you for your healing or for your insight or for your high priestess or your hierophant abilities. Yeah. Uh-huh. Karmic spouse, I'm telling you, I am telling you, somebody here knows that you are gifted, gifted child. This person knows that you're gifted and they need your healing touch here. So somebody's in a world of trouble right now and they want you to help get them out of something. The past returns. This is somebody you know, somebody you dealt with before. Because this person from the past that wants to return, that needs your healing energy, they, they know that you are an earth angel. I told you, you, you are a high priestess, a light worker, a healer. Your energy, the sun card is out here. The luck card is out here. Your energy brings luck and healing to people. And this person is running dry over there and they want to come back and come towards you like, even though they're karmic, they want to try to mask themselves as something else just to get what they want here all these hidden motives here i knew it i knew it child you just need to continue to walk in this energy of, of ascension okay this says ascended master awaken to your heritage from ascended masters your your gifts are shields and your purpose a guiding star harness your power to lead and illuminate that's that sun energy i'm telling you embrace your role as a beacon of transformation i feel like you are already embracing your role somebody even knows so let's just see who this past karmic energy is now we already know we got a new person in here but let's just get a little bit more information about this past person as i'm splitting the deck conflict mm -hmm. somebody want to come in here and they need you for your healing touch or they need you to try to get out of some karma Mm -mm. This person is not to be trusted. Hmm. Show me more here about this person from the past that has these hidden motives. Somebody who you didn't see eye to eye with that sabotaged the connection. Show me more about this person from the past. somebody that was dishonest cannot make it up this person was dishonest somebody's like oh yeah you know what i'm hearing oh you know you done fucked up right you know you done fucked up right <laughs> i don't know why i'm hearing that but that's how this person feels but this person lied to you they were deceptive and they're definitely still wearing a mask somebody here may have some form of bad habit here somebody could be a drinker they could be i mean and i'm not saying drinking is bad or negative right but in moderation, I just feel like something this person is codependent on that gets in the way of this person being in their highest self. They, but you know that this person is never going to change, right? You know who this person is. You know this person's wearing a mask. You do. You know. Destiny. I'm struggling to find the right path. See, you are on your divine path, but this person is not on their... They got detoured off their divine path because they're coming up as a karmic... Uh, a karmic spouse for some of y'all mm -hmm. some of y'all were married to them some of you weren't and now this person is experiencing some form of stress because they're overwhelmed with the karma that they're experiencing in their life i feel like this person wants to come towards you just like you are a get out of jail free card you are not the get out of jail free card this person cannot avoid the karma that they are getting right now and they feel like if i can just get around the collective things will turn around for me because the collective is over here in this energy but you've moved on you transformed you're in this chariot energy and this transformation because you are the star you are in this energy right here celebrating i mean you are the gift you are the gift. Show me more about this person from the past. What do they want? Detachment. But see, detachment just came out in reversal. I feel like you've detached from this person 
And that's another reason why they are in this stressed out energy, but they can't let you go. Okay. But you, but you had to let this person go because all they were doing was playing games. They were gossip. So somebody here is talking trash about you or talking negatively about you. I'm afraid of what other people will think. So this person walked away from you, maybe ghosted you or when they left, maybe they didn't explain for some of you all. They were they walked away from you because of what other people had to say. Yeah, they did absence at the bottom of the deck. This says, I feel like a part of me is missing without you. This person needs your energy. Hmm. Show me more about this person from the past, please. I want to make things right. This person's getting ready to come towards you. They're still wearing this mask. Don't forget that, okay? I'm caught in a karmic relationship. See what I'm saying? They want to come towards you like you're the get out of jail free card or you're the person who listens to their problems or can solve their problems, which is crazy to me. But, you know, whatever. Um, I understand how important you are in my life. If they understood how important that, you know, you were in their life at the time, then they, they obviously chose something else. So I'm just saying, you know, um, they will never compare to you. So this person that they're over here with is not in this good luck energy. They're not in this sun energy. They're experiencing bad luck. They're experiencing sun and reverse energy. Okay. I don't, they, yeah. Show me about this karmic, please. What's this karmic energy here? karmic competition just came out in reverse this karmic is no competition for you and matter of fact i believe this is also spirit saying you are not going to be in a third party you will not allow anybody to put you into any form of conflict or any form of drama or any competition you're not going to be doing that that's it i'm calling god you're not de dealing with this you're just not Matter of fact, I feel like you you're in this star energy and the sun energy and this luck energy. You're you're you are shiny bright like a diamond. Whether you're a man or a woman, you have multiple options. You don't need to be put into a third party. Yeah, it's your choice. And it was your choice to walk away from this foolishness. You know, and this person knows that this person knows that they do. They know the truth family time so this person may be with a karmic and they may have a family with a karmic here and now this person's having an epiphany oh you've always been the one that the person i'm with will never compare to you but i feel like they really need your light right now hamster wheel surviving daily hustle this came out in reverse so whatever this person is <laughs> It's just not working out over there. Somebody might be broke. Somebody might be overworked. They may be having some money problems, some legal problems, whatever that is. And then children just came out in reverse. So somebody here in this situation is very childish. They were childish. Um, or the person that they're over here with is childish. Show me more. Yeah, this mask energy just wanted to come out, but it didn't come out. Hiding and concealing deception. Do not trust this person. Um, they're still stuck to this karmic. There's no escape from this person. And for some of y'all, the only reason they're coming towards you is because they need your luck. They need your healing energy or they need some money. They need something that you can give them. All right. What do we have here? This person could be a fire sign. It could be an Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius here. Karma, balance, injustice. This came out in reverse. Karma is somebody's definitely getting bad karma. That's all I'm going to say. Divine timing. What's this divine timing energy? Paradise just came out in reverse. Like I said, this person's not happy. They're in the sun in reverse energy. They're not enjoying the time that they're spending with somebody else. They are over here feeling stuck with somebody else. It may look good on the outside, but it's not, you know, 
So what's the song? Can we hear about the new person at least? The new person may be um, an emperor here, the page of swords. Okay, somebody could be an Aries. Maybe this is the person that you know. If for those of you who are resonating with an Aries, a fire sign here, this person is like watching you, stalking you, researching you, looking you up, watching you every day. Um, or this could be the new person, but let's just, let's see. Let me shuffle one more time here. What's the... Um, can we get some energy on the new person, please? What's this? Show me this proposal energy. What's the proposal energy here for the collective? Two of pentacles. What's the proposal energy? The page of wands. Clarify this proposal energy. And the king of wands in reverse. So this feels like somebody from the past. Three of Cups on the bottom of the day. This is, show me more here about this. Thank you. Five of Wands. This is talking about somebody from the past wanting to come back. This this Aries, this Leo or this Sagittarius, this person you had all this drama and conflict with that wanted to have you in a third party situation. Two of Pentacles wanted to juggle you. This person wants to talk to you. Mm, extreme player. This is somebody here who is insecure. Um, show me this King of Wands in reverse energy. Three of Pentacles. This person may come in acting like they want to marry you. They have a proposal. They want to put it all on the line and they want to move in or put a label on it or something. And they may come towards you and tell you, oh, me and the other person are not together anymore. I really want to be with you. I really miss you. And I'm not saying this person doesn't, but there's something about this situation that's not right. This person is still hiding something. They're still wearing a mask. They're not being completely honest with you, even though this three of pentacles is out here. Like that is a contract or a proposal wanting to work something out, wanting to come in and work together. But they're a king of, king of wands in reverse. So this is hidden motive for sure. Show me this king of wands in reverse energy. Knight of Pentacles. Show me this King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, Seven of Cups and the Two of Swords. <sighs> There's a lot of confusion and like this person wants you to keep the rose colored glasses on is what I'm getting here. Just be mindful and be careful about this energy because there's energy of like somebody not seeing something. Or somebody masking something. They don't want you to see the truth. Eight of Cups walking away. I think you're I think you're gonna walk away. Let's see. Yeah, you're walking away right to something else. Eight of Cups is walking directly to this um Knight of Cups and this Two of Cups. You do have somebody new coming in. Can we can we get something on the new person for the collective that the collective is walking towards? Okay. There we go. That sun energy. They could be, the new person could totally be a Libra. A Libra. Why did I say Libra? Somebody could have Libra in their chart. You could be a Libra. Leo. Okay. The sun card. The sun card is out here twice. So we do have a new person coming in. That's going to make you very, 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 very happy. Okay. <laughs> you, you might be the person with options. You might be the person a little confused. Don't be confused. You know who you are, you're the high priestess, whether you're male or female, you know the right, you know somebody's pulling the wool over your eyes and they haven't changed, okay? Show me the new person, please. Thank you. Damn, look at all this Leo energy, the strength card. Spirit is, show me more about the new person. Show me more about the new person. Ooh, I feel like this is somebody here who's who's healing from heartbreak. This is somebody here who's moved on from something. And they're healing from some form of heartbreak. OK, the the um, devil energy Capricorn with this four swords. This person may have gone through something here recently with this nine of swords being here in this four of wands. This could also be your energy in this nine of swords energy. Um, what is this nine of swords? 
clarify the nine of swords the empress so this is you this is your energy so are you like this queen of uh swords wanted to show it show themselves i feel like because you were hurt in the past i feel like you're gonna put up a wall don't be comparing the past person this king of wands in reverse to this new person okay because this new person is the we, remember we saw that emperor energy okay here's the divine feminine energy that is your match they came out upright whoever this king of wands is in in reverse they're not your match they are a karmic male a karmic female this new person is not going to be that but i feel like you're going to be a little bit confused you may not see some things two of swords two of pentacles you might even be comparing somebody to the past don't compare the new person to the past person make sure you're opening up to the new person okay make sure you're opening up don't be too closed off for those of you who are really want to give something new someone new a chance Make sure you um, are doing that, okay? So, can we get one more for the new person, please? The Two of Cups came back out. <laughs> I love this, y'all. Your Two of Cups and your new person is that your person. Your new person is your divine masculine. They may even be your twin. Hello, Two of Cups, Four of Wands. The sun card, the strength card, this person's going to be strong like you. They're going to have gifts like you, I feel. This person may be a secret admirer. They're already watching you with that page of swords energy. They know who you are. Maybe you haven't met them, but they know who you are. They've seen you somewhere before. They're watching you or they're asking about you, whether you are a male or a female, okay? Somebody just thinks the world of you because you're really shining bright like a diamond. The sun energy, you know, the, the luck energy... It's good energy. Ace of Wands. Yeah. A lot of fat, um, desire and justice. There goes that Libra energy. A lot of fire and desire and chemistry and a lot of fun. So this is good. Y'all are going to, you and the new person are going to compliment each other very well, basically. Um, feeling called to, so let me get one more, pull you one more card. Give me one more card here for my collective to close this reading out. Holy Spirit, you guys press the like button on your way out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here and anything resonated for you. We got two cards. Okay. Luck came back out. Spirit said, I said what I said. Look at that. The angel in luck. The angel in luck. The number two and the number 19, your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey, okay? You are definitely a spiritual being, an earth angel. You're somebody really, really important and loved by spirit. You have gifts. Everybody knows it, including this karmic that's coming out here as the king of wands in reverse. This person knows who you are, and so does this new person. Everybody knows who you are, so walk in it. Walk in your divine energy okay yeah so you have a blessed love coming in i love that i'll see y'all later be discerning